<laughs> so here we are in the sandbox. I'm so glad that you'll be here with us for the next three days as we explore everything on the ground at Google I.O. Uh, first off is the mocktail mixer. It's not getting started early because there's no alcohol. Chris, would you tell me about this? Excellent. Thanks, Timothy. So this was a do-it-yourself uh, mixer that has the Google Assistant built in. It was part of a collaboration between the assistant team and Deep Local, these guys behind you. Um, it's a creative agency out of Pittsburgh. And what they've done is they've used the Google Assistant SDK, which we launched three weeks ago, and actions on Google to customize the drink, the drink ingredients, and the code, as well as services like API.ai, to create a conversational interface so you can have a natural interaction with the mixer. So we're super cool. It's a super cool demo. It shows you how to go from zero to prototyping in a matter of hours. Now I want to talk a little bit more about this demo and the SDK and like all the things that we can do with it. But first, let's make a drink. You want to make a drink? Okay, let's give a shot. <laughs> let's talk to Mocktails Mixer. Sure, here is there the we... test version of Mocktails Mixer. Hi, I'm your Mocktails Mixer. <laughs> What's on the menu? On tap today, I have a pairing mode in Mang IO. What can I get you? Let's get a pairing mode. Coming right up. Initiating ones and zeros. Beep goop. Bop. Boop boop. <laughs> Is that the robot sounds it's making? Yeah. yeah, so it's actually like, it's going from my voice going through this mic through uh, the Assistant SDK running on a Raspberry Pi device, which I think Oscar will talk a little bit more about, going back to the Assistant Services server running in the cloud, and figuring out what I'm saying, doing natural language understanding and speech recognition, and then basically coming back and controlling the devices. And now you see, we've started making the pairing mode drinks for everybody around here. That's awesome. There's, okay, there's a bunch of drinks. So uh, we have some other friends joining us. Uh, let's start with Oscar. Oscar, you're one of the guys that actually built this. Yeah, so I work for Deep Local. We worked, like Chris said, with the SDK team on the project. And basically the way this works is there's a Raspberry Pi inside the device that runs the SDK. And when you speak with it, it runs up to API AI where you can program your conversational interface. From there, there's a web hook that's called that when you call a drink, it pushes a message over Google PubSub down to the devices and actually sends a serial command to the Arduinos inside that is actually what controls the motors and dispenses the liquid. That was like a design doc in five <laughs> sentences. Yeah, Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> and everything's open source and online, so you can find it on GitHub if you search for Mocktails Mixers, or if you go to deeplocal.com slash Mocktails Mixers, there's a write-up and a video and DIY instructions so the home builder can make it themselves. That's Wayne. Wayne, you're the home builder. I am a little bit, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, Wayne, you are one of the developer advocates working on Assistant and the SDK and all these yeah. APIs. Um, is this what you do all the time? Well, I made a dog feeder one time, but this is new. i got to get into this now. I can imagine something where you could like, mix up custom food or something like that. That would be kind of cool. You made a dog feeder. They made a human feeder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going <laughs> to merge them together now, right? That's the cool thing is because this SDK is available to the public, you know, anyone can build devices like this now. It's what I'm quite excited about it too. I said I need to go home and work out my next plan for some kind of dog feeder. Well, that's the really cool thing about this recent release. Like, the SDK just came out uh, a few weeks ago, right? Yeah. Three weeks ago. And uh, it's really giving the ability for people to bring the assistant into their own hardware. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I mean, you can take any crazy idea that you've got and you can embed the assistant SDK into it, run it on, runs on most, you know, Linux operating systems and so forth, and it's just really easy to get started. And we've got a whole bunch of samples. People can try it out. All the demos here, we have other demos as well. They're all open source, so people can try them out. And uh, again, just like sort of taking a look at the value of that, it's really, this is something that people have been doing before, but they had to build the whole stack themselves, yeah. right? Which includes a lot of technologies that they don't want to really be experts in, um, but Google can be that expert for them and you can just use the APIs well, instead. You can, you can focus on what you're good at, which is making these kinds of devices and leave all the speech recognition and the natural language understanding to, to us and we take care of it for you. Awesome. Are the drinks ready? Oh, they, I see they're, they're getting poured out. Oh, they're still pouring, nice. Okay, well, we're waiting for the drinks. Uh, Vera, tell me about um, some of the ways that people are using the Assistant today. Awesome. So today we at I.O. we announced that the Assistant is fundamentally conversational. So everything that we're saying here that Wayne mentioned, that it's natural language processing, you're able to actually, as a user, talk to the Assistant, and the Assistant can do things for you. And so uh, the assistant is live across devices like this through our Open SDK, but it's also live across Android. And we announced an iOS app, so you can get it on your iPhone. And it's also live on 
wearables and soon TVs, cars, etc. Um, and the assistant can have so uh, as a part of our developer platform, Actions on Google, the assistant can order cabs for you or make table reservations or even set up your smart home so it can clean your apartment. Um, and so we're really excited about what developers will build on top of the, the platform to help users. That's awesome. I think the drinks are ready. I sure do. This is the, what, which drink is this? The pairing, pairing mode. mode. First pairing, pairing mode. mode. Cheers. Get Cheers, it. Guys. It's Come on. pretty fantastic. It I'm impressed. It was made with what was that? <laughs> it tastes better because it was made with technology. <laughs> <laughs> That's putting absolutely right. Putting artificial intelligence into your drinks. Done. <laughs> so I'm going to drink a little bit more of this, but maybe while I do that, can you talk about where you see this going? Like, what are you most excited about developers doing with this technology? Yes, that's a great question. So what we um, envision is a ubiquitous assistant experience so that when you need help or need something to be done in your life, that you can just ask the question and it'll happen, right? And so for that experience to, to really surface, you need to have the assistant in multiple places in your life. And we don't expect a Google Home to be in every corner of your house. And we also don't expect Google to build all of the appliances in your house. It just doesn't make any sense. So what we need to do is we need to empower a diverse ecosystem of device manufacturers embedding the assistant in their devices. Then you can have the assistant available to you when you need it, wherever you need it, however you need it. So that's really where we see this going longer term. And the assistant SDK and actions on Google and API.ai are just the beginnings of where we're going. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. And uh, to y'all out there, cheers. cheers.